Hi, this is Jonah from Sweet Honey Code, and today we're going to dig into the new Meta Fields feature that's been rolled out onto Shopify. So let's take a look at this. So recently, Shopify has rolled out an easier way to to work with Meta Fields. Up till now, Meta Fields has been kind of a hidden feature, and the only way to work with it was using third-party apps. And so you would always go to the App Store to find uh, this feature to fully work with it. It's a bit advanced for sure, but now they've brought it completely into a native type of working experience. And so you would find this now under your settings and Meta Fields. So let's take a look. So how does this really help you? Well, Meta Fields can be a way to gather or display extra information. So one way I had someone reach out to me once was, well, I use my downloads from Amazon. Now, of course, with the Downloads app, you could post offline files like videos with that app through Shopify, of course, but with Meta Fields, maybe you need more information or to display that custom experience. Again, I had another website where the buy button actually linked off to a course to a third party website that does not integrate Shopify. So there could be many reasons. And as you can see here with this initial release, they gave you uh, the ability to work with at least products and variants for now with things like collections, customers, and orders coming down the road. And there is and there is a link to Meta Fields to learn more. Now, the first thing you do is create a definition. Well, let's click that button and see what it is. But you do have the ability to create Meta Fields without a definition. What would that look like? Well, we could see a few here, like global short description, where it doesn't really have a definition, but I could take ownership of it to give that ability. But for now, we're going to work with ones that don't have a definition. So all right, so we can see here there's some standard definitions that are being suggested, which means you're not quite limited to these. For now, I'm going to type in a name here. Maybe I am linking up to a special Amazon link. And as you can see here, there's a namespace. Now, I could technically change this to say something else. But it's important to note that this uh, namespace and key needs to be fairly unique and that you will understand because you may need to write this code or a developer needs to write this code into your theme. Next, I could write a description which would help me remember what this form is. So in case you have a very complicated uh, business that you need this information communicated in a variety of ways, the description will definitely help. Next, I can select the content type. And so from here, I can Again, I uh, kind of get an idea of what I want here. So is it a color, date and time, a file, a JSON information, measurement, number, reference, text, true or false, or URL? I'm actually very excited to see these wide variety of options. This is absolutely great. Again, this is usually something you used to be able to find through third-party apps built into Shopify. Saves, um, helps my business. So if I clicked file, for example, I can say what that type of file is. You know, will it only accept images, accept all file types? Again, I can click change to change this. And for now, I'm just going to go with URL. Cool. So once I'm done, I do have the ability to de depend this definition, which would put it at the top of the list for products if I want it to be something I need first every single time. So that's always an option. For now, I'm going to click save. Perfect. So now it's there. How do I work with this now with my products? Well, if I go to a product, for example, here on this website, and since it's on any of these products, I'm going to go to my All About Valentine's one here. Now, before, you used to be able to find Meta Fields, again, if it was a third-party app, under More Actions. But because this is built in, I can scroll all the way to the bottom, and right here, built straight in, is that information. So now I could put in that Amazon link, and that information will be associated with this product. So I don't have a default URL link, although I could put one in there again back in the Meta Field section in case 
I need to buzz this blank, that would actually be great because, especially for the developer, they will want to be testing to see if there's information here first before it's shown on the main website. So this is awesome. Again, this is a nice cleanup way of handling these. If there was more meta fields, I could click all, where if there was more meta fields associated with products, I could work with it within its own little interface and I can click back to go back to products. This really opens up a unified way of working with meta fields. I, again, it's hard to express how delighted I am to see this. So I didn't go into, I'm not going to go into it with this video as this is a simple overview first impression of meta fields and this new integration. Um, in another video, I'm hoping to dive into themes, how this will work with the theme, that side of it, especially the new Dawn theme. So I hope you like this video. Leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe so you can get the notification for when I release future videos on topics such as Shopify. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.